jumping ring. When electric current moves through a coiled wire, it creates magnetic potential energy. When Bill energizes the coil, it becomes magnetic and attracts the long iron rod. The iron rod is then replaced inside the coil to make a stronger magnet. When an aluminum ring is placed on the electromagnet, electric current flows in the ring and it becomes an electromagnet too. Now we really have two magnets, the long iron rod and coil, and the aluminum ring. The two magnets are in opposite directions, so the aluminum ring gains kinetic energy from the magnetic force and shoots upward. Some energy is lost to invisible kinetic energy, however, the ring heats up. In aluminum and most other metals, more electrical current flows in a cold metal than in a hot one. Emily cools the ring down with liquid nitrogen. It becomes very cold, 300 degrees below freezing. With a cold ring, less magnetic energy is lost to heat, so the ring gains more kinetic energy. Since it gains more kinetic energy, the ring has more energy to convert into potential energy and it shoots up much higher than before.